Tonight, family, friends, and others who never even knew Richard Smith and his son Tyler gathered for a memorial at the Kalamazoo car dealership where they were killed. Priya Mann joins us now. And Priya, the funeral for Mary Nye this afternoon, tonight the service for a father and son. But really, it seems like the community wanted to make this a celebration of their lives. That's right, Steve. Four of the six victims buried today. This was an emotional day. This community vowing to never forget the victims and to continue to support those who were left behind, including at an emotional gathering that just took place a short time ago. At almost the exact time and place they were gunned down, friends and family released balloons. Hundreds of them floated quietly above the car dealership where Richard and Tyler Smith were killed. The father and son were targeted at random in the second shooting that fateful night. Earlier today, there was a 10-mile procession from Tyler's High School to a joint funeral service. More than 100 cars lined up to show their support for those who died and those left behind. Hopefully, it gives them some comfort in, in what can come out of this. Hopefully, they know that um, we're here for that. Another victim of the deadly rampage was honored today. 62-year-old Mary Lou Nye was remembered for her willingness to help others. Mary was a vibrant, caring, quick-witted, generous, and fun-loving woman who was, to use her own words, everyone's cheerleader. Nye was killed along with her sister-in-law and two friends. A 14-year-old girl was also shot and remains in critical condition. Chris Nye spoke about the loss of his beloved wife. Tough. Kind of a big fog. Mm -hmm. Not sure which way to turn what day. And Chris is now preparing to bury his sister, Mary Jo Nye. She was killed alongside her sister-in-law. Mary Jo's funeral is tomorrow. Reporting live, I'm Priya Mann, Local 4.